Okay, good day everyone. Our subject today is all about parts. Grade 6, we are now here in quarter 3. The objectives that we are going to discuss today are the following. So, number 1, explains the truism that design principles still apply for any new design. Contrast of colors, shapes, and lines produces harmony, whether done by hand or machine, which means a computer. Number 2, demonstrates understanding that digital technology has speeded up the printing of original designs and made it accessible to many, as emphasized in t-shirts and poster designs. Number 3, applies concepts on the steps, procedure in silkscreen printing, Number 4, produces own prints from original design to silk screen printing to convey a message or a statement. And number 5, discusses the parts and functions of the camera, point and shoot, or phone camera. So these are the objectives that we are going to discuss today. So let's get started. Let us begin our lesson in looking back. So let us look back to our previous lesson that we had last week so here's the here are the directions right through the statement is about art and false if it is not in a space provided for so let's begin number one design principles still apply to new design so the answer is true number two technology made the printing of original designs even shower than manual printing? The answer is yes, of course, it's true. Number three, only the elements of art applied in artworks using technology. The answer is yes, of course, it is true. Number four, the principles of art are only applied when drawing on a piece of paper. The answer is Yes, it is false. Not just only in drawing on a piece of paper, but we can use technology, right? To draw an, a certain object or a design. Number five, the use of technology in artwork made the task easier. So the answer to this is true. Okay, very good guys. Now, let us now proceed to the pretest of our lesson today. So here are the directions. Match the word in column A with the corresponding meaning in column B. Write the letter to correct answer in the blank provided for. So here are the words in column A. We have squeegee, stencil, screen, for emotion, and printmaking. And here are the following definition of the words in column A. So letter A. It is an art form where an image is transferred from one surface to another. Letter B, it is a technique where an original image is created on a transparent overlay and allows it to the light so that the image can be washed off. Letter C, it is made of a piece of mesh over a frame. Letter D, it is formed by blocking up screen using printed negative image of the design. Letter E, it is made needed to move the ink to create a thin over the stencil. So let us begin on what is the definition of the word squeegee. So what is a squeegee or what a squeegee is all about? A squeegee is, the answer is letter E, it is made needed to move the ink to create a thin over the stencil. Next, number two. What is a stencil? The answer is letter D. Stencil, it is formed by blocking off screen using printed negative image of the design. Number three, and what is the screen all about? The answer is letter C. It is made of a piece of mesh over a frame. How about the photo emulsion? That's right, that is letter B. 
A photo emulsion is a technique where an original image is created in a transparent overlay and allows it to the light so that the image can be washed off. And how about the printmaking? And that is letter A. Printmaking it is an art form where an image is transferred from one surface to another. Alright, so now let us proceed to our new lesson today and let us talk about what is print making. So what is print making? Print making is the process of creating art by transferring an image or design from a source from a source onto another material. Prints are made from a single original plate or surface called a matrix. So as you can see in the picture class that it is or these are some examples of printmaking. So in printmaking you are using objects to transfer an image or design from a source onto another material. Okay, so that is the printmaking. So later on I'm gonna show you some tutorial video on how to make a print making like this as you can see in the picture. So we have four processes in printmaking. So let's begin. The first process in printmaking is the relief printing. So relief printing, a print that is created by carving away a material and letting ink sit on the raised areas or surface. So example to this class is the stump. Right? So so did you still remember when you were in a kinder garden that your teacher always stomp you on a star if you are very good? So that's an example of really printing. So the one that your teacher uh, were you using uh, was using is an example of really printing. Okay? They stomp. Okay? But based on the picture here, it is also the same. Because uh, the main uh, the main object used in really printing is a uh, uh, creating or carving away a material. Okay. And, and the next one is what we call the lithography or planography. It is a printing process that uses a flat stone or metal plate on which the image is worked using a greasy substance so that the ink will adhere to them while the non-image repels the ink okay so the best uh, example to this class a very simple example this is uh, if you i know that uh, most of you experience the use of this sticker right the sticker that you put into your skin and then uh, you make it uh, a little wet on it i put a a drop of water on it to make it wet and then you're gonna remove the surface part and then the image will leave right so that is also an example here so that is a simple lithography and planography on what I am saying to you class about the sticker the sticker tattoo okay this is also the same to this Okay, so the third one is what we call the intaglio printing. The intaglio printing, the printing is done from ink that is below the surface of the plate. Okay, so this is actually the same that the, the lithography, which is the intaglio printing. Okay. The next one is the screen printing, is commonly used in t-shirt making, especially in silk screen. Okay. So screen print, printing is using the silk screen to firm an image like this. So this is an example of a screen printing. Okay, so as you can see here that, uh, that this guy is using this thing or using this uh, object is what we call the squeegee. Alright, this is a squeegee. The principles of art and design in photography are balance, rhythm, pattern, contrast, unity, and movement. 
form the foundation of visual arts. So we are not talking about here about the photography class. So in photography, we are using a digital camera. Okay? Or not just only digital, but a simple uh, SLR camera, something like that. Using the principles allows you to take greater control of your photographic practice. This will lead to better photos and more photographic opportunities. Okay, so photography is an example of, or a photography is also an art. So let us talk about now. Let us talk about now the, the process or the things should be remembered in photography. So it should have a balance. A balance refers to how an artist develops a composition through the arrangement of a place of object in the picture. Okay. The next one is harmony. It's the principle of art that creates cohesiveness by stressing the simulation of separate but related parts. Contrast. Art refers to the arrangement of opposite element. So as you can see here in the picture class, there are uh, two image of or two images of a cat, and they have a uh, opposite element, or they have opposite designs. As you can see there, they are using different colors, but with the uh, different, uh, but with the uh, same design as you can see here. But different color so that is what we call the contrast next one is the proportion is largely about largely about the relationship to the size of one end okay so this is a proportion okay, as you can see there uh, they are uh, having a difference to each and every size of the uh, object or size of one element Unity is equality of wholeness and oneness that is achieved by proper use of art element. Okay, so as you can see here, there is a unity between the sun and the moon. So there is a, the other uh, part of this uh, surface is, is the moon and this one is the sun. Combination of two. So that is what we call the unity. And now about the pattern or rhythm. A pattern is an element that is repeated in a piece of artwork. So as you can see here, that is, there is a pattern here. Okay. And it looks uh, illusional, right? It looks a, an illusion art. But in this part, as you can see, there is a pattern from rectangles, oblong, rectangle, oblong, rectangle, oblong. So, there is a pattern or rhythm. So, this is a one of the elements of the art, which is pattern and rhythm. Movement is the path the viewer's eye takes through the work of art. Okay, so the movement is just like the wave that you can see in C, that you can see at sea or in a seashore. Alright, that is the movement. And also, class, we can show movement with the use of different kinds of lines. For example, uh, for example, the twirl, uh, twirling line. So there is also a movement there, or what we call the zigzag, zigzag line. So there is a movement also. Okay, so and and so forth. So there are ten basic camera parts in today's digital world. Whether you have a digital compact or a digital SLR, these parts can be found on most cameras. So in this part, so in number 1, we have a lens. Number 2, we have a viewfinder. And number 3, we have the body of the camera. And number 4, we have a shutter release in which uh, that you uh, can press it to have a uh, flash on a camera. In number 5, we have the memory card over here. In number 6, we have the LCD screen. In 
Number seven, we have also we we'll have also the flash, and number eight, the user control. So let us uh, give the definition of the following uh, ten basic camera parts. So number one is lens. Lens serves as the eye of the camera. The light enters through the lens. This is where the photo process begins. Number two is the viewfinder. This is the main visual source for image taking. Number three is body, main portion of the camera. It can be a number of different shapes and sizes. And number four, shutter release. This is the button to press when capturing an image. Number five is memory card. It stores all of the image information, ranges in size, and speed capacity. LCD screen, found at the back of the body and can vary in size. It is mainly for viewing photos after shooting, but some cameras do have a live mode as well. Number 7 is flash, allows the camera to shoot even in low light conditions. Number 8 is user controls, the control on each camera will vary depending on the model and type. It may only have auto settings that can be used for different environments or numerous controls for auto and manual shooting along with custom settings. Okay, thank you so much guys for listening. I hope you learned something in this video and if you are new to this channel, you can subscribe, like, and click the notification bell for more videos. Thank you so much and God bless us all.